Hello beautiful people, in today's video I'm going to show you how I like to transition from summer makeup into fall makeup. Uh, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Glam Palette as well as uh, the little mini gold palette from her palette too, from her palette, from her collection. Um, I did a uh, gray silver look on the lid and then uh, incorporated a little bit of uh, mint green and the green from this palette on the lower lash line to, you know, the mint would be like a summer color and then you know the other colors are more fall um, but yeah that is how I like to incorporate when I'm tr transitioning from summer to fall makeup I like to do a mix of like fall colors and then also throw in a pop of like a summer color and then just to kind of like you know transition uh, when I'm not fully ready to do complete fall but I still want to have a little bit of summer in there so this is how I like to do it so enough rambling if you want to see how I did this look then let's just get started okay so I'm going to start off with the shade crease and then I'm going to go into the shade Smoke and then a more into the shade Lash Line just so I could get a nice blend. I'm going to play with the silvers today. haven't done that yet. I don't really go for a lot of silver looks just because I wore a lot of silver eyeshadow in high school and I... As I got older I just cringe at like, you know, the eyeshadow I used to wear and it kind of like steered me away from it in my adult days but I mean now that I'm older and I know how to not do it in a tacky way um excuse me of course I hit the record button he starts um freaking out all right so I don't really want to use a lot of these shades I find myself starting out these looks with these shades and I don't know how I feel about that to be honest um like, I mean, there's not a lot of options when it comes to, like, different transition colors, so I guess that is to be expected. But, um, yeah. Alright, so, took crease and then a little bit of smoke in the outer corner. Now I'm going to go more into lash line. I really want to play with this color here. See what it can do. So I don't know if I'm going to film an intro for this video yet, but uh, if I don't, this look is going to be um, using this Natasha Denona Glam Palette, and I'm also going to incorporate um, one of these two uh, little mini ones, the mini gold or the mini retro, just because I want to do a transition from uh, spring to fall makeup, and I thought it would be nice to incorporate uh, these two palettes together. Oh, and I'm showing you this palette and you're probably wondering why those two colors are there. Well, I got inspired from my bronze palette and I thought that the plums, like the deeper, um, okay, you know what? Uh, come here. I thought the uh, deeper plums in that palette would look really nice with the silvers. So I popped the um, crease, the transition shade out, that lightest gray, and then I popped um, the brow bone shade out to create this. Oh, how, can I just move my mirror? <laughs> and I thought um, I would do a look using the silvers and the plums. I thought that would really play play nicely with the cool tones, um, cool and neutral tones in this palette. So I thought that was really cool. I wanted to show you guys. That will probably be the next video. Uh, today I really wanted, wanted to play with a little bit of color, incorporate my style into this palette. So I am going to be straying out of the Glam palette today uh, just because that's what I want to do. If you don't want to follow along completely, then there are other options you can go for. I really love how these shadows like blend and I have like no fallout. I love that about these. They're so easy to use. Like, wow. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of glitter glue because that's what I always do. And I'm going to pop that on the blank part here. And overlapping it slightly on the darker brown. If you want to wet your brush to make the shadow really pop or if you don't need to. I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee here. Okay, now I'm going to go into... Actually, I use my finger like I always do. So I'm going to take the darker one of the silvers. I guess the other one isn't really a silver, but... I don't know, because it's like a champagne, I don't know, it's got a little bit of, like a, a warmer silver to it, 
I think, in my humble opinion. All right, so popping that silver on, that's pretty. This is looking like a really glam evening look right now with like a little black dress. Not that I have anywhere to go in the evening time that's going to require a little black dress, but, you know, we'll make it more daytime friendly. Or not for some people. Okay. I like the way that went on. That silver went on really pretty. I'm liking, I'm liking it. I've had mixed feelings about this palette, like part of me wanted to return it and part of me wants to keep it. So as I play with more looks, I'm gonna, like I was convinced a couple days ago that I was gonna return it because I was looking at other palettes that I had, um, and I was looking at and comparing like, you know, the, the cool tone there and the cooler tone browns here, as well as the, um, I do have like a dupe for that one, well not really a dupe, but the exact same color in another palette that I'm going to do another video on, I think. And same with this one here. Like, I have a lot of taupes in other palettes, but the nice thing about this palette is it's all there in one easy, like, I don't have to pull out, um, like, five palettes if I don't want to. So I like that. Like, they had, it has its pros and it has its cons. And I don't reach for a lot of cool tones in general. Um, I do more color, as you know, but, I mean, it's nice to have when you want it, right? So that's what I'm like tossing back and forth. All right, so what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna take a little bit of, so I popped this color out of the palette, this is the transition color, but I am gonna take that lightly on a fluffy brush. I just wanna um, put something up here just to help blend it out. I don't want it too smoky and blown out, but I kinda like a little bit do. And then I'm gonna mix a little bit of smoke and lash line dipping into the lash line, then smoke and tapping it out. And I just want to like bring this out ever so slightly, but not blow it out too, too much. Like I said, I want to try and keep this more like daytime friendly if that's at all possible for me to do. I always tend to go overboard. So I just took a little bit of that transition and now I'm going to go back into smoke with this brush here. working it around. Okay, for the inner corner, I'm going to take inner corner, this one next to the silver, but I'm taking it on a fluffier brush to help distribute the color more, and I'm just going to work that into the inner corner where I usually apply that gold. And then I'm just going to go back into oh, the center eyelid shade, which is the darker silver on a flat brush and I'm just going to intensify that and blend it with the inner corner shade. Alright, I believe I'm happy with that. Now I'm not going to use, brush my eyebrows up, I'm taking my Naked Basics palette and I'm going back and forth between Venus and Walk of Shame. I'm just going to pop that on the brow bone, but I'm also going to take the shade inner corner, the lighter of the two silvers is just what I'm going to refer to it as. And I'm going to pop that on, I'm going to take a smaller, smaller brush here. I'm going to take that, you know, it kind of sucks doing a tutorial and having to show you because you don't know, because of, of the names. I feel like that's the only drawback from this palette, like I, it doesn't bother me at all. But just for tutorial purposes, I get how some people don't like it. Um, but yeah. It's not a deal breaker for me, obviously. And I'm just popping that on the brow bone just to add a little bit of shine and a little bit of lift. And I think that's beautiful and that completes it for the upper lash line look. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, eyeliner, whether it be liquid or pencil, I'm not enti sure, entirely sure yet. And then I'm going to go and do this eye. I will do my face and I will come back and complete the look doing the lower lash line. Alright, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in first with this NARS um, eye pencil in the shade Hollywoodland. It's probably not even available anymore, um, but I'm just going in with a gold base just to help the eyeshadow that I'm going to put on stick and pop. And then I'm going to take this tiny little brush here and go, I feel like the screen looks a little bit blurry, um, in a corner, the lighter color there. 
and I'm going to take it both on the inner corner and blend it down on the lower lash, but not all the way. And then, actually I'm just going to go in with a little bit more in the inner corner. I'm going to take something else on top of this to make it pop, but if you prefer less of a dramatic inner corner, you can leave it there. But from the mini gold palette, I'm taking this color here, the green. I feel like that would really play nice with the grays and silver. So I'm taking that on a pencil brush and just applying it to the outer edge and then blending it into that goldy silver shade. I feel like, is my lens dirty? I feel like it's like got a haze on it. Oh. Okay, and then going back into the inner corner color on the small brush and just going over to blend it together. Now, for the lower lash line, this is where I'm adding the pop of, you know, this is like the fall eye kind of. The pop is going to be a mint green, and I forgot to pull out my mint green color, so just give me two seconds. Alright, so for my mint green color, I'm going to take Get Fresh from the ColourPop. Um, what is this palette? Mint to be. And I'm going to remove the excess moisture from my waterline. Apply this pencil from Annabelle and then go in with a flat brush and just gently set that alright that is how that turned out I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and apply mascara and come back and finish the rest of the look with you guys alright so this here is the final look with mascara on I was going to do lashes but um, the ones that I bought to try, I feel like they'll just cover up all of the uh, beautiful eyeshadow, so I'm just not going to put any on and just, you know, call it a day. Um, I didn't mention what I put on my face. For foundation, I used a combination of uh, Dior Backstage and the Peach Perfect foundation. For blush, I used, oh, I used a combination of two lipsticks. This MAC Viva Glam Nikki. Nikki's Nude, an older one, and then this old one, older one from um, Urban Decay in the shade Weirdo. I just mixed them both together to create this like neutral, neutral color. Um, and for highlight, I use also older um, Lorac Perfectly Lit, and I used the shade Luminous as well, Spotlight and Luminous. It gave more of a softer sheen than a intense highlight, which is kind of what I'm going for lately. I wanted to change it up a little bit. And for the lip, I used Max. Nope, yeah, it was Mac, but wrong one. Uh, it's sweet and sour. I thought a peachy color would look good with the green and would also balance the cool tone on the lid. Come here. All right, guys, so I will zoom in to show you what they look like. So there you have it. I really, really enjoy how this just blends together so beautifully and so seamlessly. Like, I, every time I use this palette, I think more and more that I'm just going to keep it. I'm not going to return it. Look at Sebastian doing on the air. What a cutie. Yes. All right, guys. So that completes today's look using the Natasha Denona, Natasha, Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And uh, giving it like a spring, not spring, wow, my mind is, I don't know where it is right now, but um, summer to fall twist. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The next one I'm going to do, I think I'm going to incorporate the silvers and the plums here because I think that's a beautiful look. And yeah, thank you guys again very much for watching and you, you will see me in my next video. Bye.